I think this is a beautiful card. I want to have pages and pages of it. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I'm going to show you guys how to grade your own cards. And if you like this stuff and you want to check out more of it, consider pushing that subscription button. Anyway, so the things that you're going to want is a card that you really like. You like this card and you say, oh, I think this is a beautiful card. I want to have pages and pages of it. Well, why don't you put one in a slab? You can go on Amazon and buy a uh, trading card slab. If you just look up trading card slab, you'll see stuff like this and you can order one. These areas here are generally um, 88 by 21 millimeters. So you can design a sticker. Uh, I use sticker mule to get these foil stickers that are about those dimensions so they fit in there perfectly and then if you go ahead and you know write out your categories and your information about the card uh, you can print it out on a transparency and when you put a foil uh, transparency on a foil sticker it becomes shiny so you have a nice shiny label so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to obviously evaluate your card and take a good long look at it and say oh yeah 10 that's a 10 wow would you look at that 10 that is a nice 10. I mean, probably not, but whatever. I want to have a 10 on it. It's going in my collection. I'm not ever going to sell it. So next thing you want to do is you want to get a perfect fit sleeve and put that perfect fit sleeve on your card. So it is in there nicely. And then you're going to take your slab and open it up and put your card into the area in the slab where it fits. It'll fit right in there in a perfect fit sleeve. And the next thing you want to do is get your label ready. So First you take off the backing of the sticker here, and then you wanna take off the backing of your transparency. I got these transparencies at Staples. Um, they have a backing on them, so these both stick to each other really nicely. And then you wanna line this up really carefully. You wanna make sure that everything is upright the right way. So that's gonna go this way, and this is gonna go this way. And then you're just gonna line this up right about where it needs to go. Stick that on there. Oh, and if it doesn't fit right, you can just pull it off and do it again, it's fine. So it looks like this right about to the bottom of here. So I'm gonna get this right on the bottom here, line up the edges. And sometimes the sticker will be a little bit big for the space. I think these are a little bit big in the length dimension. So I wanna make sure that the, that the height is right here. And you look at this, you wanna make sure that's all nice and even there. And then I usually trim off just a little bit of this to make sure that it fits properly. So you can get yourself some fancy kitchen shears. And for these, I know I just have to trim off a tiny bit of the top. So I'm just going to trim off this very top part and then that should fit in my slab just about perfectly. So you put that in the area where it fits right there. And uh, this has fingerprints all over it now. So I'm going to wipe those fingerprints off. And then you just put that in the slab in the label area right there. And then on the other side of the slab to get these to stick, I don't, I mean, I don't know necessarily if this is the perfect way to do this, but I just take a little bit of glue and put a tiny dot of glue in each corner. So it's just going to hold the slab together. Just a very, very small amount of glue in each area. And that should seal the slab up. There may be a better way of doing this. I really don't know. This is just what came to me and I think it looks fine. And these cards are just staying in my collection anyway for fun. Maybe I'll sign them and give them to friends or something like that. But these aren't meant for like secondary market real grading. It's just kind of for fun to have cards and slabs. And then you just put the front of the slab on here, press it down and that's it. Your card is slabbed. And now you have your beautiful own slab card. You can design your own label or maybe if you have a friend that can help you with that or find somebody on Fiverr to do the design for you. And then once you have a file, you can just change whatever categories and numbers and give them serial numbers and all that, put a little logo on it. And yeah, there's your slabbed card. So this is my slab card. I like this design. I think it's pretty fun. And I like the way this looks actually better than the other slabs. So it's fun for me to have in my own collection. Anyway, guys, that's how you slab your own cards. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscription button and you can tell your friends about it. I am a dentist. I can't end without giving a dental tooth tip. Same thing if you want to slab your cards. It's a good idea to wear a retainer at night because it keeps your teeth in the same position so they don't crowd over time. It also helps with bruxism. So I recommend I recommend asking your dentist about getting a mouth guard or oral appliance that you can wear at night to keep your teeth in position and help your dentition stay healthy for a longer period of time. I am Joku DMD. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you guys next time.